Theophilus, a theologian, has written an orderly account of the fulfillments of the Bible. He recounts the birth of John the Baptist, a son of Zechariah and Elizabeth, who were righteous in the sight of God, but childless due to Elizabeth's inability to conceive. When Zechariah was chosen to burn incense in the temple of the Lord, an angel appeared to him, telling him that his prayer had been heard. He was told that his wife Elizabeth would bear him a son, and that he must name him John, who would be great in the sight of the Lord and filled with the Holy Spirit before his birth. Zechariah was an old man, and his wife Elizabeth was unable to produce a child. One day, an angel of the Lord visited Zechariah and told him of his coming son. However, the angel told him that he would be silent until the day this happened, as he did not believe his words. Zechariah returned home, and his wife Elizabeth became pregnant and remained in seclusion for five months. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, where Mary, a virgin pledged to marry Joseph, a righteous man. The angel told her that she would conceive and give birth to a son called Jesus, who would be great and called the Son of the Most High. The Holy Spirit would overshadow her, and the Holy One to be born would be called the Son of God. Mary visited Zechariah's home and was filled with the Holy Spirit. Elizabeth exclaimed, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the child you will bear. Mary's song glorified the Lord, praising God's mercy and blessings on her. She stayed with Elizabeth for three months before returning home. John the Baptist was born to Elizabeth and Zechariah. His parents and neighbors shared her joy, and the child's name was John the Baptist. He brought his parents great joy.